boy. Here they come. Here they come. Keep a Benel Beep from his appointed rounds. We're not moaning, Dad. Here, take Guinness to his favorite spot. I'll wait here. Ooh, ooh. Mm. <laughs> mm. Huh? Arthur, did you hear that horrible music coming out of Peter's house last night? I didn't sleep a wink. And poor Scout, he's <laughs> yes, our bad neighbor makes us early stirrers. I'm quoting Shakespeare, who obviously had the same problem. I know rock musicians need to live somewhere, but they shouldn't live where they have neighbors. Next time, I'm calling the police. No, Harriet. Arthur, Mama. Harriet! Peter, we were just talking about you. I hope I didn't disturb you guys last night. Well, now that you mention it... I was celebrating with my band. We were so excited, we couldn't sleep. We couldn't either. The band got booked as an opening act on the world tour with Kiss. <laughs> Kiss my... So you're leaving for a while. Actually, I'm sorry to tell you this, but with all the money from the tour, I could finally buy this house in L.A. I've had my eye on. You're moving oh. to L.A. I hate leaving you guys, but... Oh, we'll be fine. Uh, anyway, I better get back and straighten up. The real estate agent is showing the house today. Cool. You know what this means, don't you, Harriet? Peace and quiet. No. New neighbors. Well, I can't say I'm broken up about it, are you? No, but all things considered, Peter wasn't so bad. Oh, no. He kept the worst hours, always blasting music, and that constant parade of women going in and out of his house. Oh. I, 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 I think you're being a little judgmental. Peter is single, so he can date as many women as he likes. Arthur. Many would have been okay, but we're talking hordes. Now, dear, you shouldn't call them hordes. You saw them. No, my love, I didn't. The only woman I see is you. Oh, you're quick. Anyway, the point is that we are about to get new neighbors. What if we don't like them? What if they don't like us? Dad, Mom, what time do I have to be home? Lunch will be ready at noon. Okay. Now, Roy, be careful. Don't break anything. Mom. Uh, your mother's right. You should be careful, but... Have fun. How can a kid have fun when his parents are always telling him to be careful? That's a good question, son. Let me get back to you on that one. Anyway, I won't be having fun if I get that big clumsy kid Toby on my team. Now, hold on. You shouldn't be so hard on Toby. I'm sure he's having a tough enough time as it is. <laughs> yeah, everybody always teases him. Exactly. So why don't you try to be nice? Be careful. Be nice. Dad, I'm 12. You're asking too much. What I mean is, if you get Toby on your team today, instead of treating him like somebody you don't want, give him a chance. Right. A chance to blow the game for us. Nobody wins with Toby, Dad. You could be the first. How was that? Brilliant. So what are your plans today, honey? I'm meeting Sky and Carmel downtown, but I really don't want to go. Is there a problem? Carmel invited this girl, Rachel, who just moved here from California. And? And Rachel is, like, really obnoxious. Like, really? Um, what does that mean? Dad, please, it's Saturday. Let me talk the way I want on Saturday. I'm sorry, there's no special talking pass on Saturday. Anyway, Rachel has this I'm so cool attitude, and I just don't like her. That's the problem. Well, so why don't you try to fix the problem? How am I supposed to fix somebody else's problem? Mm, it's not somebody else's problem, it's your problem. Because you've already decided that Rachel is unworthy of your friendship. Well, she is. She's new here, right? Mm-hmm. Give her a chance to fit in. Look, I've got to go. 
You're just brimming with fatherly advice today. I must agree. What you just heard is father of the year material. Anyway, I'm heading over to pick up Catherine from her sleepover. Don't be long, my darling. Mm, I will miss you. That's nice. But while you're missing me, can you tighten the bracket on the drain pipe? Of course, my dear. Yes, Bindlebeep, you have it all. Father, husband, and handyman. Arthur, I'm off. You're leaving today. You know me. When I decide to do something, I just do it. Movies are coming in a day or so. Would you mind making sure they pack everything in the house? No problem. And could you say nice things about the neighborhood to the people who look at the house? Absolutely. Great. Cool. I just like to say it's been great having you as a neighbor. I'd like to say the same thing. I'd like to say the same thing, but I can't. Oh. Blue Water Do Set, hi! Sorry, man. My fault. Listen, Toby, instead of going out for a pass, just pull back and block from me, okay? Okay. <gasps> maybe he can block. Yeah, maybe he can block someone on the other team this time. And how was your sleepover? Okay. Just okay. I didn't like the doll, oh. so Lindsay said she wouldn't like me anymore if I didn't like her doll. What was wrong with the doll? It wasn't like Guinness. Oh. It was little anyway. Yep, yep, yep. All the time. I see. But you know what? What? The dog belongs to someone you like very much, right? Uh-huh. And you want your friend to be happy, right? Uh-huh. So next time, try to like the dog a little more, because that would make your friend happy, okay? Okay, I'll try. You are on a roll today. Yes, I am. But I'm a little concerned. About what? About the Bindlebeep family. Um. Everyone is so judgmental. <laughs> They're just kids. They'll learn. What about you? Me. Yes, you were rather judgmental about Peter and his girlfriends. Oh, really? Well, maybe you would rather have hordes of girlfriends instead of a wife. Why did I bring that up? So, um, Rachel, uh, how do you like it here so far? <laughs> oh, it's just so wonderful, I can barely stand it. Well, I'm glad you like it. I was being sarcastic. Couldn't you tell? Yes, I could tell. I guess it's hard adjusting to a new place, huh, Rachel? Well, of course, someone like me would have a difficult time here, just like someone like you would have a difficult time in L.A. Really? Yes. I mean, for one thing, girls in L.A. are much more mature. Norma! What is it? Look, the real estate agent is here. People? Yes, they do. Let's go outside and get a better look. I'm sure your children will just love the rec room in the basement. Great. They have kids. Cool neighborhood. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Motorbikes? I bet all their friends have motorbikes, too. <laughs> Me. 
They've been in the house for a long time. They must like it. Ah, it's a great house. Thank you for showing it to us. Oh, it's, it's lovely. Let's go. Wow, did you see that cute guy on the motorbike? I'm going to have a word with that real estate agent. Hello, I'm Arthur Bendelby. I live next door. Mina Liu, pleased oh. to meet you. Peter told me you're a teacher. Yes, at the high school. That's nice. Uh, the family that was here, they like the house. Actually, they love the house. They're gonna talk it over and get back to me. I see. You have other people coming. Yes, quite a few. That's great! I, I mean, that, that's good. Oh. To tell you the truth, I would prefer not to have those kids on motorbikes living next to me. Really? They're very nice, well-mannered. The girl is an honest student. Yes, but... <laughs> if you had met them, you would have seen their great kids. Certainly, you can agree it's not fair to judge people without having met them. Yes, of course. You're right. But allow me to point out that I was not judging people. I was judging noisy machines. Now, there we go. A man and his lovely daughter. They just got married. Uh, well, if you'll excuse me, I better get back into my house before the bats start swooping down and tear out all my hair. Huh? Bats? What are you talking about? But only in the fall. In the summer, the locusts come in. <laughs> Guinness, let me explain why I just did that. You see, these people would be worse than the biker kids. Why? Because my wife would hammer me every day about this guy's young wife. As if it were my fault somehow that this older man married a younger woman. I think it's revolting. Yes, dear? That man was old enough to be her father. Exactly. Why do older men think it's such a great thing to go out and marry a young woman? I have no idea. I bet he left his first wife for that young girl. Maybe he wasn't married before. Of course he was. Of course. <laughs> it's a big front yard. It's a lot of grass to mow. He's quite heavy. A guy like that would probably never cut the grass. We'd have a jungle next to us in a week. Do you hear yourself, Arthur? After all this wonderful advice you gave the kids today, now you're the one being judgmental. <laughs> Me? But wasn't it you who just made the rather judgmental comments about the older man and his young wife? <laughs> well, dear, what I meant was... Maybe you'd like a younger wife. I don't know what's wrong with me today, Guinness. I must have lost my mind. I should not keep reminding my lovely wife about certain things she said. What I should be doing, what keeps peace in the household, is for the husband to always remember that he must, excuse the expression, let sleeping dogs lie. <sighs> The little yappy dog, it's a terrier. So I asked mommy to bring me a book from the bookstore about terriers so I can learn about them and maybe start liking Lindsay's dog a little better. That's very smart. Thanks, Daddy. So, Roy, what happened at the touch football game today? Well, Toby messed up as usual. Gotcha! Gotcha! Oh, man. So instead of sending him out for a pass, I told him to pull back and block. The next play, I dropped back to pass. Two guys were coming right at me. But then Toby came out of nowhere and blocked both of them. Oh, Scout! Scout, no! Green, 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 Green,
But because of Toby, I was able to break free and run for the touchdown. Well, Dad, I did what you said. This is a momentous occasion for me. All three of my children following my advice. Yes, I did follow your advice, but it didn't work. See, Rachel's being her usual obnoxious self. I tried not to let it bother me, and I tried to be nice even though she was saying really hideous things. But after a while, I just lost it. Well, Angie, if you really tried... Dad, I, I swear, I tried. That's the important thing. At least you tried. Dad? Yes, Angie? Can I ask you a question? Ask away, my darling daughter, and I will do my best to answer your question with keen insight and words of profound wisdom. If your advice is so good, and it really is, even though it didn't work with Rachel, then how come you don't follow it yourself? What? Well, when we first sat down to dinner, all you did was talk about people who came to see Peter's house, people you've never even met. It didn't sound like you even gave them a chance. Well, Angie, you see, I mean, sometimes, let me put it this way, in other words... In other words, Arthur, she's right. Both of us have been sitting over here prejudging every person who looked at that house. smiling well. My wife and I have been looking at the house. Oh, uh, yes, um, uh, uh, hello. I'm Arthur Bindleby. This is my wife, Norma. <laughs> we live next door. Mm. What do you think of the house, Mr. Smiling Well? It's really perfect for us. We're putting in an immediate offer. Well, you know, in matters such as real estate, I feel one should not rush into things. Tell that to my wife. <laughs> She's already taking measurements. Well, you know, wives, wives are always, <gasps> always there to take care of things. Speaking of wives, uh, tell us about your wife. My wife? Well, let's see. We met when she was one of my students. <clears throat> Arthur, I think I should get back to the kids. A pleasure to meet you, Mr. Smilingwell. The pleasure was mine. So, you were saying about your wife. Oh, yes, my wife. Laura and I met when I was teaching an adult education class. We've been married for 15 years. Oh, um, I found this on the back porch. Since the previous owner has already left for California, I thought I'd put it in the house. So you don't play guitar? Me? A musician? <laughs> I couldn't hold a tune if it had a handle. <laughs> I'm a psychiatrist. A psychiatrist? Yes, I specialize in child psychology. Really? Come, let me introduce you to my children. The Smiling Wells seem very nice. Yes, they do. I'm looking forward to meeting their children. So am I. A boy and a girl. Nine and 12. You see, dear, there was nothing to worry about. It looks like we'll end up with great neighbors. You were the one that was worried. Well, yes, but re remember you said... Said what? You said we shouldn't worry. Hmm. Oh. I think it's great that he specializes in child psychology. Maybe he can even help us. You know what I mean? Yes, I do know what you mean, but... But what? <laughs> do you really think we need help with our kids? I mean, that kind of help? No, dear, our kids are perfect. Especially Angie. The minute the Smiling Wells move in, we'll have them over for dinner. Exactly. Thank you. 
Thank you.